Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Bradley. Thank you for stopping by the channel Triple Ink. Got a mini vlog lined up for you all today and it's going to be on the house of L'Artisan Parfumaire, a niche fragrance house that I am so excited to share with you guys my findings and these amazing five scents that I'm going to be showing with you. So I actually discovered this house for the first time uh, last month when I went up to DC and I did my vlog video. L'Artisan Parfumaire. Also Noir Excise. One of my favorites was L'Artisan T for Two and Food Absinthe as well. Saffron Turbulence. My favorite definitely was Aobu. Artisan has been crushing it today. And obviously I was super impressed with this house, so I got these five samples from Ariel Shoshana. She was very nice to give those to me, and I wanted to wear each of them, but I'm going to do this vlog style. So for the next five days in a row, I will be wearing each of these fragrances and letting you guys know sort of what I think about them from the opening to the dry down, and kind of taking you guys with me, and so you get to see what I do uh, for five days. So it's a little bit of a different style of a vlog video. I'm going to try and make it fun, fast, and entertaining for you guys, and I'm going to be tackling these five L'Artisan fragrances. Super excited. So I'll be seeing you guys in a week's time back here to let you guys know my final thoughts But for me, it'll be about 10, 10 seconds actually, but you, you get the picture. So I'll see you guys in a little Good morning everybody bright and early. This is gonna be starting day one It's a little bit chillier out today and I'm going to a dentist appointment this morning actually So I'm gonna be wearing this one Noir Excise I hear this one has chestnut, maple in here, I believe, and some smoky notes. So I'm expecting a sort of a gourmandy, sweet, smoky scent. So let's see what we get from this one. Of course, I'm going to be uh, letting you guys know later on what my thoughts are and about it as I wear it out throughout the day. But anyway, here's the first go. Just one spray. I'm liking it already. Mm. Definitely picking up some smoky notes in here. I definitely maybe get the chestnut. It sounds like roasting chestnuts over the fire. And also the maple syrup, I get that a lot. It's kind of syrupy, sweet, and uh, very rich and delicious. So far I'm liking this quite a bit. It's definitely satisfying my sweet tooth, I think, for winter time and maybe cooler fall days when you just kind of want a, a nice cozy scent. Guys, I hope this wasn't too strong. I only did one spray and it is kicking right now. Very heavy, smoky, maple syrup type of a scent. Very interested to see how long this is gonna last because it's quite strong right now just with one spray from a sample. This one definitely has some punchiness to it. It has a lot of power behind it, which I like already. All right guys, I'm pulling in here to get my teeth clean at the dentist appointment and I will be right back and I'm gonna get to let you know my thoughts on how this fragrance starts to progress. So see you in a second. I'm back, I'm back. <sighs> Minty fresh. It's been a little over a half an hour, so uh, Noir Excise has been drying down on my skin for a little bit now, and I gotta say, guys, I literally felt like this was filling up the entire dentist cubicle. I mean, it was really, really strong. This stuff is potent. You know, it hasn't changed a whole lot. I feel like, if anything, some more dried fruits have started to come out. I still get the maple, I still get the chestnut, kind of smoky, syrupy, sweet, and very heavy. But I'm kind of liking it, I'm, I'm kind of digging this, this scent. I think it's definitely more of a night out, nighttime scent, but like I said, it's a little cooler today, and I think it's working great in the cool, sort of crisp autumn air. I'm gonna continue to wear it for the rest of the day and come back later on in the evening to give you guys my thoughts on how this actually wore throughout the rest of the day. But so far, so good for Noir Excuse. Okay guys, so it is about six hours later from when I last saw you in the morning, and I'm gonna give you guys sort of my thoughts on how Noir Exquise from L'Artisan, how this one dried down and how it wore on my skin throughout the day. So right away, I am very, very impressed with this one. This one just has an autumnal smell to me. Like, it really does smell like autumn, like falling leaves, you know, bonfires and stuff like that. It has a smokiness, like chestnuts, a slight kind of burny nuttiness in here, and maple syrup. It is very heavy and very loud. Like, I swear I was filling up the dentist's office when I wore it this morning with just one spray. Now this one has stayed pretty linear. If anything, the smokiness has, sound, has kind of gone away and it has dried up a little bit. But this definitely has an artistic value to it. It is very mature, very nice, cozy, and warm, and I think an awesome autumn scent. Now with the performance, it did project very, very strong. It was like killer strong within the first two hours about, but then after that it settled down a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Um, it's going on about six and a half hours now, and I can still fairly easy detect it on me with just one spray. So I think the performance is pretty good with this one. You will get your money's worth for that. And so far, this one gets a triple ink seal of approval. Off to a good start so far with day one. This one was a really good one and worked perfect for kind of a rainy, chilly day. So I'm feeling good to start things off. Excited for day two. Let's go. 
Good morning, everybody. It is now day two of my five days with Lodge Zone Parfumer vlog video series. Very rainy and kind of a cold, chilly day. Not very nice to be outside. So today I just plan to do a little bit of filming, uh, maybe a little bit of video editing. And the scent that I picked is probably the most challenging and the most heavy fragrance. And it's a good day to today to wear it because this is a little more of a daring scent and I don't really want to be around a whole lot of people. And since it's a little bit on the colder side today, it's going to fit very well. And I've just put it on. This is Al Oud from Lodge Zone Parfumer. Now again, I actually tried this at Ariel Shoshana's perfumery and this is probably my favorite oud that I've come across so far in my fragrance journey and I have it right now just in the initial opening it's like green pine kind of a oud scent very spicy, it does have um, civet in here, tons of notes, leather as well, incense, smoky, spicy um, but what I get from it, at least in the opening, is very strong and it's a nice spicy sort of a f green foresty oud really unique, definitely heavy, definitely strong and right away I'm thinking this will be a fit a little more in the winter but then again a cool day like today it works great it's definitely masculine, it's definitely in your face, has a slight sort of a kind of a civet, kind of a B.O. stinky smell underneath, but that's definitely overmasked by very nice spicy, piney, sort of a woody scent. Reminds me a little bit of a more upscale version of Burberry London. So guys, I'm going to wear this throughout the rest of the day. I'm going to come back a little bit later on and let you know how this one dried out on my skin and my final thoughts on it. We started off on a great note with Noir Excis yesterday and looking to keep things strong with Al Oud today. So excited to wear the rest of this one. Catch you in a few. Okay everybody, welcome back. So it's a little bit later on in the evening now and I've had pretty much a full day's wearing of Al Oud from Largizan. Gotta say, it continues to be probably my favorite Oud scent. I love this one today, it works great. I will say a little bit of the downside, the performance wasn't as strong as I was expecting. I would say Noir Exquise, which I wore yesterday, was stronger than this one. I'm going on a little bit over six hours right now and it's very, very close to the skin. I can still smell it, but just barely. And definitely didn't project as much as Noir Exquise did as, as well. So this one sits a little closer to the skin as me, not as uh, beastly or as loud. But I think I'm actually okay with that because I, this scent, I don't think I would really want it to push away too much. This was very masculine. I actually got a comment with this when I went out to lunch today and the oud did really, really nice in here, the civet, and it stayed pretty linear on me and just is a really nice, warmy, spicy, and really did remind me of like those sort of pine cones, those cinnamon pine cones that you get around Christmas time. Really nice, worked great for a very cool rainy day like today, and I was just kind of doing some casual things, so I think it fit today perfectly. Definitely my favorite Lauder Zone that I have tried so far. Off to a really good start, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and see what I'm going to do next. Day two in the books. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day three. That is right, it's a Sunday morning this morning. I'm heading off into church, and today I'm going to be wearing this. Tea for Two from Lardizan Parfumer. This is maybe one of their most popular offerings. I know a lot of people really love this in the autumn, and it's supposed to be a spicy tea scent from when I tried it about a month ago. I really enjoyed it, so it's time to give this one a first official wearing on my skin. That nice spray right there. I'm liking it already. Spicy tea, let's go. <laughs> Wow guys, what is even going on right now? I can't believe this. Literally each day keeps getting better and better and better with these scents. I thought that the first day Noir Excuse was great. I thought yesterday's Al Oud was phenomenal. And today T for Two just blew everything else out of the water if you can believe that. This right here guys, legit right here, completely legit. I love T for Two, even the first time just wearing it. I can already tell I'm gonna love this one so much. I may need to pick up myself a bottle of this because it's really good. The opening guys just killed it for me. It has gingerbread in here, spices, it kind of smells like a spice Tea, sort of a chai tea. I don't get a whole lot of overwhelming tea from this, but I do get just warm gingerbread, like soft, spicy, a little bit of smokiness, um, just beautiful, beautiful scent. It's, it was very classy. It came across very classy, but at the same time, comfortable and casual. It just was very nice, refined, sophisticated. It smelled beautiful, and man, the quality in here was absolutely phenomenal. This is an eau de toilette, I believe. It's not a screamer or a shouter. But what it did do, it did sit fairly close and it did last a decent amount of time. However, it's been about three or four hours and I can barely de detect it on me. So it is a little bit on the weak side, but that's okay. We don't need all of our scents to be super beast mode strong. And for the environment that I was in today, I think it worked perfect with a lot of people sitting around me. And I actually did garner a compliment with this one as well. Just did, did great. So guys, T for two gets a huge thumbs up from me. I think this one is full bottle worthy. In fact, I may be picking up a bottle of this one and you may see it pop up later on this autumn. Just saying. T for two, easily my favorite that I've tried so far. Oh, man, it's just beautiful and really does smell like the autumn and it just smells classy, mature, yet very elegant and just down to earth and it's just awesome. Like great signature scent worthy in my opinion. Guys, it's going great so far. Day three in the books. Got two of them left and can't wait to see where this goes. Good morning, everybody. It is day four of L'Artisan week. 
if you will. That's what I'm going to call it now. And today I'm going to be rocking this one, Saffron Tribulant. It's going to be a rainy day today, so I thought I would wear this one when we have two left. And I love this one when I tried it uh, back in the beginning of August. It was absolutely amazing. This name actually translates into Troublesome Saffron. And it's going to be a spicy rose vanilla scent from what I remember. So I'm actually really excited today to give this a try on my skin and see how it wears. Now wearing it in the class today, so hopefully I will get some reactions of my classmates that are around me. And I'll let you guys know how it is. Alright guys, that should be good enough. Let's go. Well, when it rains, it pours, guys. <laughs> so I just got back from my class, and I'm going to let you guys know what I thought about Saffron Tribulant from L'Artisan. To be honest, I think it works very, very well. This is a fragrance that actually is the weakest that I have tried so far um, over the four days of testing these, and it's a little bit unfortunate because I think it smells really, really nice. It's a very sexy, sensual, kind of a rose, vanilla, saffron combination. It smells really nice. It has just the right amount of spiciness in here. The rose works so good, and, and the vanilla. I just wish it lasted longer. This one just doesn't really want to project or push off my skin that much, which is a little bit unfortunate because it smells fantastic. Yeah, this is definitely unisex. I think it would smell very, very good, very attractive on a man or a woman. Uh, it just smells great on anybody, I think, and just has a nature of being just very interesting and just smells great. Yeah guys, I mean I'm going on a little over two hours right now, I can hardly smell it on me. So maybe you really gotta apply a lot of this for in order for it to last. But just based on smell alone, an absolute thumbs up for me. Just wish it lasted a little bit longer. Alright, so I'm about to go grab some lunch and I will see you tomorrow when I have my last day wearing the final fragrance of the five days of artisan. So until then I will see you. Day five. It's been quite a journey so far guys. I've really come for a lot more appreciation of the House of Flutters on Parfumer, but I'm at day five, the last and final day. This one right here, Amour Nocturne. Now we have a little bit of this on and this opening guys. This actually has gunpowder and caramel as some of the notes with like milk. Very interesting, very unique. The opening is incredible. I get a caramelized burnt sugar type of a smell with a little bit of like a gunpowder note. It's kind of crazy, but I actually do get that. Now I have an evening shift at work I'm going into tonight, so hopefully this will work really, really nice for me. It's a Friday night, I'm gonna be going out a little bit after that, so hopefully this is gonna work well for that. Hopefully it'll perform as well. So I'm gonna get back with you guys after my shift is over and let you know the results. <laughs> All right guys, so just had a long, long night and man, I'm gonna tell you about a more nocturne from Lardizan. What a great way to end my Lardizan adventure so far with this fragrance. This is great. I love this opening that it has. It has gunpowder, which I totally get in here. It has a smoky, slightly metallic, sparkling, just explosive nature to it in the opening. And it has caramel, a slightly burnt, charred, exploding caramel is basically what I get. This is sexy juice, like, I don't think it was necessarily appropriate for the work time in the evening, but I think on a date, um, smelling great on a guy or a gal would be awesome. Like, really. So, so good. So, I might go out tonight. We'll see. And I think this is going to be a really, really good one to wear throughout the rest of the night. So, wish me luck. That was wrapping up my five days with Lardizan Parfumer. Great, great fragrances. Really, I have a lot of amazing things to say about this house. Um, definitely going to be getting some bottles of it, and you can expect to see them on my channel coming up here pretty soon. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back in the morning with the wrap-up. Peace. Wow, this house, this house just blew my mind. That's how good Lagazan was. Very, very impressive stuff. All, th all their fragrances seem to be very unique, very different. So I kind of want to wrap up this vlog video and let you guys know my findings. My absolute favorite out of all of them, it was really, really tough. Uh, the two, or actually three that really, really impressed me were first and foremost Tea for Two. Love that spicy chai tea sort of a vibe that that one had. Another one was Amour Nocturne. Beautiful, beautiful, sexy date night scent in my opinion. The gunpowder, the caramel, so, so good. And then Al Oud. A very wearable spicy oud fragrance. These were the three that really impressed me the most. However, Saffron Tribulant and Noir Exquise were also really, really solid scents. Like all of these were absolute hits for me. Each of them was sore, I think easily over an eight out of 10 on, on my rating system, just to give you a heads up on that. Anyhow, I was smelling fantastic the entire week and that was awesome. So please let me know what you guys thought about the House of Lardizan Parfumer and please let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below by dropping a comment, hitting that like button. If you enjoyed, please sure to subscribe to my channel for some more fragrance content. That's gonna be it for me guys. We'll hopefully see you back on the channel sometime soon. Until the next video, see ya.